Yeah, I think this is no. Mm -mm. What's up? My face is so oily. Like, hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only a girls in the building. A girls. <laughs> Just a way of coming to relax after work. Can you guys tell I'm so tired? Like, can you tell my face is already very oily? Like, this is my after work face. <laughs> Let's chat about things I love the selfish things, selfish reasons why I love being a working mom. Mm -mm, no, let me rephrase that. Why I love being a nine to five mom because I believe all moms are working moms. Like, whether you're a stay at home mom, whether you go to the office, whether you have a business. Whatever it is you're doing, you are all we're all working moms, okay? But like you guys already know what I'm talking about. The moms that have a day job that go to an office, yeah. I don't know how many reasons I'm going to mention in but like I'm just going to list out the reasons as they come to my head, okay? The very first selfish reason. And that reason is <laughs> I have something to give as an excuse. Like anytime I come back from work and I don't feel like lifting a finger, I'll just be like oh. I can push my children to my husband and just tell him that please now you know i had a very busy day at work you know i i left this house in 7 30 in the morning and see when i'm coming back i can just mm, push some things to him <laughs> and give an excuse you know even even on days that i didn't really do much in the office i can easily just say that i, I really stress myself out and just keep that excuse and just you know push some responsibilities to him Second reason why I love being a 9 to 5 mom or a working mom is that I can afford a little bit of luxury. I am somebody that I don't really know how to ask. I love to make my own money. I love to take care of myself. So the fact that I can easily just say, okay, let me just take out some money from my salary and just do one or two things for myself. You know, that life of luxury. I won't say it's luxury, luxury, but yeah, well, maybe, maybe we can call it luxury. But the fact that I can just spend some money on myself, I mean... For me, that is very, very rewarding. Like, for me, that reason alone, I can continue doing 9 to 5 work till I'm well into my 70s because there is no money as sweet as your own. The next reason why I love being a 9, 9 to 5 job is that I feel like I can be a good role model to my children. For me, growing up, my mom always worked. Like, she had a job. In fact, till now, she's still working. Okay, and that was just me. Like, that was how I saw it. Growing up, I just knew that I wanted to do have a 9 to 5 job. And to me, that was her being a role model to me. And I feel it also gave me that impression that, you know, women can be anything. You can be a mom, you can be a banker, you can be anything you decide to be. Like, just know how to manage your time and know when to ask for help. And that was how I grew up. So I feel she was that role model for me to let me know that you can actually be anything no matter who you are, no matter your gender, whether you're a woman or a man or whatever. And I feel me going to work and having that sense of responsibility and having something that I'm putting to the table it's kind of like being a role model to my children. So my daughter now looks up to me, I hope. <laughs> I hope she's looking up to me and knowing that, okay, her mom was able to achieve this. She was able to, you know, have a nine to five job, um, have a hair business, be whoever she wants to be, whoever she, whoever she wanted to be at that time. I hope that, you know, she grows into that woman and, you know, sees me as somebody that was a role model. I also love the fact that I am able to afford little, little things for my children. I go out and my daughter is like, Mommy, I love this shoe. Can you buy it for me? And I'm like, don't worry, I'm going to save and I'm, I'll buy that shoe. And I always keep to my word. Sometimes I imagine if I, if I didn't have any other source of income, if I didn't do this job or have other things that I was doing on the side, like, how would it be when my daughter asks me for money for something and I'm not able to, you know, give it to her? It's not like I say every time she says, Mommy, I want this, I buy for her. But like, it's satisfying to know that I am able to buy the ones that I can afford to them. So I love that about being a working mom. Um, I also feel like, um, having a nine to five job and bringing something to the table somehow earns me some form of respect in my marriage. Yes, I said it. Yes, that's how I feel. I feel, you know, having something that you're doing, whether it's a business or whether, you know, in my own case, I do business and having nine, my nine to five job is my main job and then every other thing is my side hustle. But I feel the fact that I'm able to do all those things, um, you know, like they know that I'm a banker, I have somewhere I'm going to, I'm respected in my office and all that. Somehow that respect also comes into the home when I say things when I talk sometimes people listen when I When I say okay, I'll be able to be here on a particular time people respect that knowing that okay This person is actually a very busy person. So, you know, you have to work with her schedule and, and all I feel it also makes me to be able to like I have something to talk about with my husband at the end of the day I feel being a 95 mom actually brought us 
clothes that I would say because when he goes out and I go out and we come back at the end of the day, we always have something to share, we always have something to talk about, probably something that happened at work or something that something interesting you saw that happened on the road, you know, those kind of things. So I feel there is always something to talk about at the end of the day just because I, I feel it's also because I go to work. I'm not saying that if I didn't go to work, I won't have things to talk about, but I feel I now have more things um, to talk about just because I have a 9 to 5. The other reason why I love being a 9 to 5 mom is that I feel I can always step in when things when things go wrong. <laughs> what I mean is like sometimes like at the back of my mind I'm always like okay I know that if something happens and my husband is not able to work and you know he's not able to provide for the family that I would always step in. I really just like the idea of that and if you guys don't know if you're coming to this channel or coming across this video for the first time my husband is actually in medical school i mean we have support from all around my family his family um but the fact that i am working kind of made him to even say okay you know what i'm going to go ahead and do this and i like the feeling that i got knowing that he was he was like okay when we we're talking about our plans you know when you're going to go back to school how are things going to be he talked about all the other plans that he had and he also added that you know he was like of course you're there in the picture so things are not going to go wrong. like for me i loved the way that made me feel it made me to you know i've always had it before at the back of my mind that if anything happened i was always going to step in and when he went back to school it was that moment for me to step in and i just like that feeling and that is one of the reasons why i love being a nine to five i also like the fact that i get to go out every day and meet different people my kind of job allows me to meet with different kinds of people and so i get to talk about things with people meet adults not everything i'm talking about children or talking about this one and that one family life you know there it gives me that um it gives me that avenue of meeting different kinds of people and makes my life even more interesting another reason is that it helps me to what's the word it helps me to appreciate quality time with my children because I have limited time with my children. Um, whenever I decide, okay, after work, I'm going to drop my phone and spend time with my children, I always look forward to that and I always give my 100% because I know that I don't have a lot of time with them. So why do I want to waste it? I don't, whenever I'm spending time with my children, I don't always want to like have my phones around or have things that will distract me because whenever I'm with them, I'm with them. Whenever I say, okay, I'm spending time with them, and, spending. and I feel at the end of the day, in the long run, it makes me to spend even more quality time with them. Yeah. So, I want to just come here and just quickly share this. These are the little, little things I like. I mean, there are tons and millions of things that I don't like about 9 to 5 job. I mean, look at the time. This is about 7 something and I haven't even washed my face. Um, but there are millions of things that I also love about um, being a working mom. And this is what this video is about. Some people always see me and they're like, ah, is life not even hard? How are you able to do this, you know, be a banker and have your children and have your business and, this, and still enjoy yourself? And I'm like, you know what? Life is already very hard. Anything you want to do in this life is already hard. Being a mom is hard. Being a parent generally is hard. Being a stay-at-home mom is hard. Being a working mom is hard. Being a mom in business is hard. So, just for you to choose your hard wisely. There are times that, especially when my children were very young, like when they were babies, there were times I'm like, you know what, I've had it up to here. Like, what? How can I not spend my time with my children? How can I not spend my quality time with my children? You know, I've always... At those moments, I was always like, you know what, next month, I will definitely resign from this job. And as time went by, it became easier and easier. Of course, the children were even growing and were becoming more and more independent. And, you know, me having a day job became more and more interesting. So I always look forward to that schedule. I think I would, I would walk until, until they pursue me. <laughs> Can you people tell that I'm very tired? Are you? This YouTube life is not easy. As I was just very tired, I would have just gone and had, had a warm bath and just crossed my leg. But I said no. I have something that I said I was going to talk about with you people. And I have to talk about it. And here I am. So please, for this reason alone, if you are seeing me for the first time and you have not subscribed to my channel, <laughs> please now just subscribe, okay? I, I really... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, like, just subscribe to my channel, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, you guys, I really do not know how to say this thank you and how to express my gratitude because I'm so grateful. Especially to you guys that always come back to watch my video, to you that always watch my ads, to you that always drop a comment. This YouTube is not easy, but I love doing it, so I'm just going to keep on pushing it. If you're also a 9 to 5 mom, let me know in the comment section 
what you enjoy about being a nine to five i'm probably going to make a part two of this video where i share the things i do not like about being a nine to five mom so until next time i'll see you in my next video bye take care